We're here with Reese McKee. Reese, how are you doing, man? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, staying busy, staying active, and, and doing what I can. Yeah. How's training going during this time? Yeah, you know, it's, it's actually been going uh, a lot better than I maybe expected it to go. Uh, you know, I think the first week I was maybe a bit more uh, frustrated, and, and now I found my rhythm. And you know, it's important to be ready because things will be back to normal in no time. Yeah. So back in November, you said you want to be the next Irish fighter to join up with the UFC. Now, obviously, these plans are looking a little bit more probably like they won't go ahead for the rest of the year. But is that still your goal is from next year still to become the first uh, the next Irish fighter? Absolutely. You know, like um, I know for I know, like as this country is, we've got amazing fighters, amazing amazing skilled fighters and i know I, I i know i'm next in line i've earned my stripes i've got the record to prove it the finish to the finish rate to prove it uh, i'm next in line and and uh, whether it's sooner or later i'll be the next man in my in my opinion yeah what did you think of graham's comments on Eurobash regarding basically that, that they don't think the usc will come in for any cage warriors fighters now yeah, I mean, he's not. I, I don't think he's wrong. He's a, he's a hell of experience dealing with type of, this type of stuff. That being said, who knows who will drop out the UFC at any given time. Um, all I can do is be as ready as possible, uh, be as available as possible, and I'm doing everything I can. Uh, you know, never say never, but I mean, he, he his his words make sense. Yeah, as you mentioned a minute ago, you, Ireland have some amazing fighters coming up at the moment. You've got yourself, Liam McCourt, James Gallagher, Ian. Who the list is ongoing, but one thing I loved about Ian the other day was he was saying that he has no qualms that you will be the next fighter, and he he respects it, and that's what he wants. What is it with the Irish and that? Firstly, you guys all stick together, but also the formula that you're producing at the moment is is working. Yeah, it's, uh, I can't tell you about the formula, but I know uh, you know I believe like the Irish are a big team. Uh, you know, you, we see this when we go away to shows in in England or Scotland, like. The Irish will be in a corner somewhere together, and and all mingling. The clubs merges one that, and and it's no different in the pro games. You know, I'm always been a fan of Irish fighters staying away from Irish fighters and and trying to get our own uh, team up as far as we can, rather than fighting each other. You know, um, as for the formula, we just we just love a scrap and we love a fight. I guess I guess that's all it really is. Yeah, sure, sure. So obviously there was going to be a UFC Dublin card in August, and that was something I guess that you were aiming to get onto. Now, even if that goes ahead, as I said, I don't think cage warriors will be putting any fighters on that card. However, is that something that, that would bother you if you didn't fight in front of an Irish crowd for your first UFC event? Or would you just like the, next, the first time you can get into the UFC? Yeah, to be honest, uh, I just want a UFC debut, which, uh, you know, it, would it be nice to have it in Dublin? Absolutely. It'd be amazing. Like, it's, it's dreamy. Uh, you know, it's dream stuff. So, but for me, it's getting to the UFC. Uh, you know, if it was in front of Dublin, fantastic. If it's not, then so be it. But, but as long as I'm there. Yeah. Is there any particular UFC fighters that you would eye up for, for your first fight or down the line? Uh, I'd love to fight Mike Perry. Um, being realistic, it's probably not an entry debut fight. Uh, but I would love, I'd love to mix it up with him. <clears throat> I would also love to eventually later in my career fight Israel. I think that would be a fantastic fight. Uh, I think like we're, we're, we're actually very stylistic, uh, similar. So uh, anyone, I'm there to fight anyone, you know, make me the best. So for, in terms of cage warriors, you work to be fighting for the belt. Is there any name you would like next in, in cage warriors at all? Not real. Like there's no name that I particularly want. Uh, I did like the idea of a UFC veteran. Um, you know, my opinion is, my opinion is I want, I, I want to get, I want to get the best guy possible before I go to the UFC you know I, I want to, there to be no doubt I want after I beat whoever I fight I want everybody to say no Reese has to go to the UFC it's not a not one of these questions where ah, but if he fought such and such he might not have done it I want no doubt um, so they can give me the best they, ha- they can because I know I'm the best in that division yeah so talking about someone who's signed with the UFC now was Jai Herbert and Ian mentioned this the other day that you are the only man to hold a win over him when he signed with the UFC, did, did you ever think back to your fight at all? Uh, no, I, I tell you what I've done. I, I texted him straight away. Uh, I told him congratulations, wished him all the best. Um, you know, I don't hold uh, myself in high regard due to beating him. Uh, he's done what he's done. I've done what I've done. Um, you know, no, I, I'm delighted for him. And uh, again, I said in my message, I said, 
I look forward to being in there with you. Uh, you know, sharing the sharing the UFC status. So no, I, I, it's nothing that I hold against him. Sure. So you you held the Bama lightweight title, is that right? And Correct. Yeah. Is that anything you would ever consider again going down to lightweight? I don't think so. Uh, I'm walking about. I'm walking a bit north of that weight. My uh, mm-hmm. my last few cuts to 55 were just <clears throat> like they were having effects on my health. Uh, you know, it took me a few weeks to recover from the weight cuts like after the fight. So I knew, to be honest, it was maybe maybe something bad might have happened. You know, maybe something a bit more serious. So I made the right move, and, and now I'm filling into the uh, 170 division definitely. So. Um, I'm not looking forward to my next weight cut at 170, never mind 55. Yeah, well, you, you were going to fight for the 170 title at Belfast. Did you ever have a, a, a name thrown at you for that? Never, no, I never had a name. Uh, I've seen I've seen guys who they wanted it to be, and you know, but I, I never had an official name yeah. on on. Well, I know Ian Gary had the same issue. Is that he was he was announced for the card, but no one was taking the fight, or or at least there was no one matched up with him. Was there any name in particular that you, you fancied any of the fighters who had said they, they would like to be on the card? I know it's the I know it's the most cliche answer, but I really didn't care. Um, I didn't you know, I, I would have loved someone released from the UFC or someone who left the UFC. Uh, but really, really it doesn't matter. Like I said this to Ian and Graham, like, you know, whoever it is, send the name for you. Like I can just do an auto sign. I wouldn't be looking into the name and rejecting anyone on that roster. Sure. Well, talking about Ian and Graham, they are doing amazing things in the UK mixed martial arts scene. How, how do you feel your relationship with them is? Yeah, fantastic. Uh, I, I would actually keep in the loop uh, with them. I would, I would talk to. I, I'd like to check in with a lot of people in the, on the MMA scene. Uh, you know, I, we, have, we have a very good working relationship, and you know, me and Graham are working on a few things, and uh, Ian keeps me posted. So. Yeah, it's uh, we're all on a good on a good field. Have you had any updates in in this um, lockdown period at all about potentially what they would like to do or when when an event might come along? No, I haven't. I, I know like the ball's kind of out of their court. Uh, I think we're all we're all just in the same limbo waiting game. Uh, I know Cage Warriors are keen to put on cards, and I've reached out to them twice and said that as soon as they get like go ahead, they know where I am. So if that next fight's in Belfast, London, Cardiff wherever I'm there, behind closed doors or not. So as far as, far as you're aware, do you think they're going to go ahead with, say, the London card, the Belfast card, or it will just be whatever venue they can take first? Um, I think it will all be whatever way the dates fall. Uh, I believe whatever show they'll have booked, that'll be their next show. Um, wherever that Belfast or not, who knows? Um, if it's behind closed doors, who knows? Yeah. So have you been watching any of the live cards at the moment, UFC last night or, or UFC 249? I seen a bit of last Saturday's show. I seen I actually seen only the first two prelims. I, I fell asleep. I watched a few highlights. I didn't see last night's, but it's uh, it's good that it's back on. Definitely. Have you got any predictions for Saturday night's event? Harris versus Overeem. I like Harris. Um, I like Harris. I know he's been through a lot. I don't know if that's making me want him to win even more. Uh, I think Overeem not past it, but he's had his time, and I think what well, or Harris will be will be hard to stop. He's a big athlete, big man. Yeah, sure. So, I always like to ask the question, did you have any idols when, when going through MMA or even just anyone, any styles that you liked? Uh, style-wise, I always liked John Jones, someone longer longer levers, long limbs, tall and skinny, so to speak. Uh, like, But to say idol, I'm not sure. I remember when I was younger in my career, I would have watched a few fights on a, on a, on a Friday night and then went into Saturday sparring and tried to emulate that guy, you know, so... I idled many, many fighters for one day and then changed the next week. Or, or I, I was always trying to rip from styles, if that makes sense. Yeah, sure. So you are, without a doubt, one of Cage Warriors' biggest stars now. How does it feel to have that spotlight on you? I love it. I love it. Uh, yeah, I've, I've always enjoyed the. I've always enjoyed the so-called pressure that comes with these things and, and being in the the positions. You know, at the end of the day, that's where we're in it. The, the Irish fighters you list at the start. Every single one of them is a performer. We all love the 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 light, the the interviews, the articles. You know, we all love it. so it's an amazing position to be in, and and one I don't take for granted, but I'm extremely grateful for it. Yeah. So let's say you go on, you win the Cage Warriors title. What would you like next? Would you like to defend the belt, or as I said, take the first UFC opportunity? 
Um, good question. Like I think, listen, the the be all and end all. If the UFC came before I got the title shot, I would take it. Mm-hmm. Uh, if not, uh, I would go Cage Warrior title. If they came then, I would take it. If they didn't, then I would defend again. It really doesn't fall short. As I'll take the UFC when I can. Until then, I'll win and defend the belt as many times as need be. Mm-hmm. So, if you were to get the belt and then leave for the UFC, which which welterweight prospects would you tip to kind of get in that position next uh, from Cage Warriors? Yeah, I'd like to see Ian Gary get the shot next. Um, I think he, he he needs a few more fights maybe to get in that status. Uh, there's some good guys in that division. There's some really good guys in the welterweight division, but I think Ian Gar will be the next Irish uh, welterweight to hold it after me. Um, so I'll, I'll be team Ian for that one. I totally agree. I think people need to get on, on your guys' scene. Every, I said, you are establishing your name very well in it, but then with Ian, I said, coming up as well, the Irish are producing some absolute monsters. So I look forward to kind of seeing you guys all, hopefully, as I said, keep you keep your streaks going and smashing k and then getting to the UFC, because it's what we need. What, what, what do you feel, how do you feel about the, the UK and Ireland MMA scene at the moment? You know what, uh, we've had highs and lows recently, and we were very low, and then we got McGregor, and we were the highest we've ever been. And, you know, I think, I think just as we were getting to the Belfast Cage Warriors card, after the court show in Ireland, we were, we were about to hit our next big high with the Dublin, or UFC Dublin coming back. Obviously, Corona's messed everything up for us, but you know, uh, not having something for a while brings back the passion and love for it. So I believe after this, we'll have our biggest stint uh, we've had since McGregor. Sure, definitely. Well, that's my questions out there. I'm going to move on to a quiz, if that's all right. Is there? Obviously, I know I know you've seen stuff about the quiz now with Leah, Leah saying you guys aren't going to beat her. But in general, way it's a 90 second quiz. Um, just answer as many questions as you can, and all the answers are verified by Google. They're not by myself, so if you've got any qualms of them, take out with Google. <laughs> I love it. Sound good, man? Awesome. So, I'll set a 90-second timer. Yep. Lovely. It's ready to go. And we'll start in three, two, one, go. Who was your first professional MMA fight against? John Redmond. That's right. Number two, who is known as Ireland's first MMA champion and the first Irish woman to compete in the UFC? Actually, Billy. Yep. Number three, what year was Cage Warriors founded? 2001. 2002. Uh, number four, who was Liam McCourt's opponent at this year's Bellator Dublin? Uh, can I skip it? Yeah, of course. It was Judith Ruiz. Number five, who was due to headline the May 16th Bellator London card? Uh, Gallagher and Cal Elmore. Yep, that's right. Number six, who holds the fastest knockout in a UFC title fight? McGregor. Yep. Number seven, who holds the record for the most UFC submission wins? Uh, skip. Charles Oliveira. Number eight, which previous opponent of yours featured on The Ultimate Fighter Season 27? Well, That's right. Number nine, who holds the record for the most significant strikes landed in a single bout? Donald Cerrone. No, Max Holloway. Number ten, who is Conor McGregor's head coach? John Kavanagh. Yep, number 11, known as the master of movement and culture, who is Conor McGregor's movement coach? Oh. Ido Portal. Number 12, what is the surname of the owners of the USC, Lorenzo and Frank? Retida. Yep, number 13, who was Cathal Pendred's last UFC bout against? Mike King. No, Tom Breeze, number 14 there. So that's our time we've gone, but I can do the question. Who holds the record for the most official knockdowns in a UFC bout? A bit of time now, so uh, yeah, uh, Barbosa, no, no, it's Jeremy Stevens, okay, with five, I, yeah, but I think, I yeah, I'm very well there. One, two, three, four, eight, you got eight, mate. So, what, what was the what was the best? Leah's was 10, so you haven't beat Leah, but I'm pretty sure you're second or third place there, so you've done well, definitely. We've had sixes. I'm gonna say for Leah's fight, Leah's fought like a few people with tough names, and that's the reason I skipped it. Yeah, it's Judith Ruiz was her name. Oh, but I, I said it's only because she headlined the card that I thought you might see that. Yeah, no, I I I, I see these names, but I just I couldn't even pronounce them. <laughs> no, sure, sure. 
Mate, as I said, you stood on well, mate. He's done pretty good. But we'll have to see if Paul can, uh, Paul can beat that. I think Ian got nine, and he was gutted, mate. He was absolutely livid. But you, you've, done, you've done good there, man. I'll take it. I'll take it. Before we close anything up here, mate, is there anything you want to put out there for your fans or for your sponsors at all? You know, they all know who they are. Um, if you call one sponsor, you get a text from another saying, why didn't you mention me? Uh, no, listen, everybody just has to chip in, stay stay safe at this current time, and the MMA scene will be booming. You're doing great work, mate, so keep it up. I appreciate it a lot, mate. Thank you so much for coming on the show, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you soon. Pleasure, mate. Take care, mate. Bye-bye.